What kind of design pattern would you use for a story in your game? Any sources you happen to know uh, of that that talk about this? I have a hard time finding anything. I'm guessing story. You mean like a like a story system or like a dialogue system? Yeah, I, I assume it's managing dialogue and things. Um, it's one of those again, not, not a helpful answer. I write my own. <laughs> if, if I need if I need a, a dialogue system, I'll just write write one. Pretty much. Um, because it's not super specialized. There are some great tools. Like if you're if you're not comfortable with that, there's um a lot of really good visual editors. If you're doing if you're doing like a Mass Effect style narrative flow thing. And in fact, fun fact, you can find the Mass Effect dialogue tree online, like the file that they actually use internally to build it. Oh, that's cool. So, so you can get a sense of how it works. And fun fact, it's just a giant text file. Uh, a lot of these systems are just giant text files with uh, keywords and annotations. They get read in and parsed and processed. Because it's just far more efficient. It's much easier. And it also means that if you're, we talked about this last time, uh, if you can, if you get a tool developer on board, you can have somebody build something that spits out a text file that can be imported into the game. So you don't have to have kind of um, the, the narrative artists have to mess with code stuff. So there are great tools for this. Um, another thing I recommend is there's actually a programming language designed for making interactive narratives. I cannot remember the name of it right off the top of my head. Uh, is it Twine? Might be Twine. There, they, either way, there are languages as well. Literally a language designed That's with cool. certain syntax and annotations. And the point of it is that it builds a narrative and you, you, you mark when you know things are collected or when a dialogue option requires a certain Boolean flag to be hit or uh, if, a, if, a, if some function has to be called that provides points. Like you could have heal 20 or something to mark it inside the um, text. And then you just read it in, parse it, and subscribe to events, and you can make your system from there. So there's lots and lots of ways to do dialogue, depending on how your game works. He he clarified and said that um, he was talking about just the story in general, you know, pro progression of your game. So I guess in this case, you're he's you're probably talking about like a game like Skyrim, an RPG where things change in the world. Maybe, maybe that maybe something more like probably Breath. Um, Zelda Breath of the Wind. What is it called? Breath of the Wind? No, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Breath of the Wild, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically the 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 state of your entire game world changes and I'm guessing that's what it is. And and so then the game actually progresses itself, the story of the game. Um and and really there's no one answer to that. Um no. because you know, you can have a game like Final Fantasy that's super linear, or you could have a game like Breath of the wind right breath of the wind that is open world but there is there is certain state like you know have a but you know even that one doesn't really have much of a state because you can't actually go straight to to kill to, to the, the end of the game right from the starting zone um anyway yeah the i guess what i would say is if you're thinking about developing a system like that that's so critical to your game you know it sounds like you've already thought of a of a type of game where you know, it has a, a story and progression. I think where I would say you'd want to start is um, thinking of how you can design, like what tools you can create to to define your your game story at, at a high level. Um, and this goes back to how we always talk about designing tools, tooling for your own games. Um, I, I would say, like, think about what a designer would have to do to add um like a section of your game or or a, a, a portion of your game. And you don't want to have to rely on doing it in code. You you want some sort of uh, UI where they could say, okay, at this point in the game, you know, these elements have to be in place, um, you, know, you know, things like that. I don't know if you have anything to add to that, Jason, or if you agree. Oh, yeah, no, I, I pretty much agree. Um, the only thing I would say as a, like a, a shorthand, because as, as Charles pointed out, there's a lot of moving parts. It's not like there's a single answer to that question. Yeah. Um, but uh, something that will be helpful if you're looking for a closer to a single answer is more often than not, you'll find tutorials and guides on quest systems specifically, like the literal keyword quest rather than, you know, whatever narrative or story or progress or saving, whatever else you want to call it. If you look for quest systems, there's tons and tons of courses. Um, the, like wait, I remember some of the ones I used to do back in uh, the UDK days or back in um, back when XNA version 1.0 was, it was a thing. Um, and fundamentally, they they all follow roughly the same rules. It's just you create an object that contains um, state for your quests or for your lines or whatever it is. Um, you iterate through them, you cache them, you, you have some sort of flag system that indicates when certain flags have been hit or not. Mm -hmm. How you specifically design it 
it's entirely up to you and there's not really a right answer there's not like an out of the box correct solution um and that that goes for 90 percent of these questions there's not going to be a in industry 90 percent of companies do x there's very few direct answers like that the closest i can give you is when doing audio 90 percent of companies use wys <laughs> like stuff like that i can give you a direct answer there are set tools that are predominantly the features that people use but for how to design x who's on who's on the dev team that week you know that's entirely going to be the <laughs> answer so yeah look for yeah. quest stuff in general that's probably a good a good bit of advice yeah i mean to, to approach it from a high end if you think of a quest you just have to you have to figure out what are the elements that you need to encapsulate um and then go from there you know like it could be flags it could be you know items that need to be get that need to get picked up it need maybe dialogue there there's a lot to consider and, and yeah there's a hundred ways to skin or what, what, what's the expression there's there's 10 ways to skin a cat it's an awful yeah, expression something like that awful expression <laughs> i'm sorry chip we're talking about you buddy Listen.